hello YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Haichu Review. I bet you don't know what this flavor is. This flavor was brought to us, you know, I forget if it was Clara or Grace. Clara's brought us so many interesting flavors, but I think Grace brought this one um, on the trip to Japan. What is it? It's Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom. What does Cherry Blossom taste like? I don't know. But that's what, I, that's what I've heard it is. I can't read this. And I think this says something about like special two color something something special Cherry Blossom. Beautiful packaging. Beautiful. This is Aichu and Morinaga. Again, trying to bring us something kind of very unique. It's interesting, on the past episodes, I was kind of commending Uha and their Pucho sticks for kind of finding these new, unique, interesting flavors. And what I'm seeing is that when Morinaga goes for a unique, interesting flavor, it tends to be one that's a bit more sophisticated or adult. Not watermelon soda or milk tea, but cherry blossom or some regional fruit. I really have no idea what to expect from this, but there's only one way to find out. We're gonna open it up. This is kind of like the standard, almost the kind of packaging and shape you, you typically find in the Taiwanese flavors. More of a squarish cross section, a smaller chew. And okay, well, I don't, I don't, I don't see the, I don't, I don't see the two colors here. Uh, I'm a bit confused. It doesn't look like that. It looks like a very pallid yellow. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Huh, well, hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm starting to figure this flavor out. I don't know why it isn't the advertised colors. And that's really disconcerting. That's false advertising. Like, like, you can see the yellow in the middle, but you don't see any pink and white. But okay. Here's what's up with the taste with this. I'm not super impressed. Mildly impressed. Or I find it a little interesting, I guess. It tastes like cherry. And when I say cherry, I mean like the kind of artificial cherry. The kind of artificial cherry you find in the American Cherry high chew. And it's almost like cough syrupy which I typically don't have a problem with. Like that kind of like super sweet artificial cherry flavor. I kind of like, I kind of get when people don't. It isn't like the true cherry flavor. It is just like a sugary artificial cherry flavor. So it's like two parts that, and then one part, and here's where it gets interesting. One part of like a floral um, rose petal taste. And I really mean that, like, like, you know, if you've ever had like rose petal tea or something like that, um, that's definitely in there. So, like, you first get hit with the cherry, and then now it's, it's transitioning into these more floral undertones which is what makes it in interesting. Um, and I, I mean, I don't know what cherry blossom tastes like, but if you're just kind of abstracting the notion of cherry blossom, you get the cherry and then you get something a little bit more like leafy or floral. And that seems to be what they did. Um, and that's interesting to have like a, um, a rose petally or like kind of florally tasting chew 
is new, the way that kind of balances against this kind of artificial cherry is a little awkward, a little awkward. You know, it's like interesting, but I still don't know quite what to make of it. It'd be really cool to see if they could push that rose petal further. Maybe just have a rose petal um, chew. That would be really interesting. Maybe if they go back and expand their adult series of flavors, see um, our four adults only episode that goes a little ways back where we look at those flavors. Where again, they have like very sophisticated, beautiful packaging. Um, so I don't know where I like. I mean, I just appreciate that this was so unique, but it is a little disappointing that the chews didn't look like this. And it is a little disappointing that it kind of is still a dominantly cherry flavor when even though I kind of like the cherry, it's not a sophisticated flavor. It's a very kind of dumbed down flavor. You know, if you ever got like the cherry ices when you were a kid, you know, it's almost just the nostalgia for that or of like a Luden's cough drop that I like this, but it, it's not any credit to Morinaga for what I really like when they do well of really nailing the natural flavor of a fruit. But you got that kind of rose petal element, which is very unique and new and interesting, and I'd like to see that pushed further. So that's my review of this one. You know, still glad we got our hands on this. I don't know if you could even find this anymore in Japan. I got this one a few months ago. But if you're in Japan, still pick it up just to kind of experience that, you know, kind of interesting balance of flavors, even if you don't like it per se. But... You know, I still just always want to encourage Morinaga for trying these more interesting flavors. So I don't want to give them a hard time. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what I have to say. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment below. What do you think? What shoes would you like to see on the channel? And we'll see you next time. Bye.